Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my video. In this video, we're gonna do a tutorial on how to read the codes on your surface engine zoom light. We're gonna get it to that mode where you can read the codes and you're gonna read the codes depending on the way it blinks. So first of all, we're gonna to have to get into that mode. To get into that mode, the car has to be off to begin with. What you're going to do next is you're going to turn the car on without turning the engine on. All right. On means all the lights on the dash are on, but your engine is not running. All right. At that point, you're going to count one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. All right. Three seconds. You're going to put your foot on the accelerator and, and what you're going to do is you're going to pump it five times within five seconds. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand. At that point, you're going to take your foot off the accelerator. Wait seven seconds. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, six, one thousand, and then you're gonna put your foot on the accelerator and keep it there for anywhere from ten to fifteen seconds. All right, I'm gonna do it with you guys right now. All right, the car is now on. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Foot on the accelerator. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. At which point your service engine soon light should start blinking. All right. So we're gonna get to the next part of reading the codes. It's gonna blink at different speeds. Hey guys, welcome to the second part of this video. Hopefully you guys got to this second part and it worked out getting into uh, the mode to to read the, the error code. So basically, uh, if you got to this point, what's gonna happen is there's gonna be uh, obviously there's gonna be blinking your your uh, service engine soon light's gonna be blinking and it's gonna be be blinking at different speeds all right so you guys gonna have to read it uh, from the number of blinks the pause and the number of blinks and it's gonna be it, it's gonna be a little bit um, you're gonna have to get used to reading it because it took me a couple of tries to get to that point where I was able to read the codes exactly. So basically the way this works is there's gonna be a P. On every single one of this code, these codes are gonna start out with a P. So if you guys wanna, you know, keep that in your head, it starts with a P and then it's that's, it's gonna you know the the first couple of blinks gonna be slow. It's gonna be the slowest. It, there's gonna be a pause. All right, and it's gonna it's gonna blink. You know whatever the numbers are, it's gonna pause and it's gonna do that for four numbers or letter. All right, basically, if it blinks ten times, it's a zero. All right, if it blinks eleven times, it's an A. All right, it's it's a letter. It's an A. All right, if it blinks eleven times, it's an A. If it blinks ten times, it's a zero. Any number of blinks from one to nine is is one to nine. So let's let's do it with with this sample that I have up. All right. So if you guys are looking at this right now, it's all right. You're gonna have a P. You're gonna start off a P. Every single one of these codes start off a P. All right, the first two blinks are gonna be the slowest blinks. Uh, in this example, it blinked two times, one, two, and then there's gonna be a longer, uh, you know, a pause, and then it'll blink 11 times, and then there's gonna be a pause. It's gonna blink 10 times, there's gonna be another pause, and it's gonna blink 10 times. So the code reads P, two for the first two blinks, a, because there's 11 blinks. After that, it's going to be 10, which is a zero, 10, which is a zero. So let's do this. All right, look at it again. So it's P, and then it's going to blink one, two, pause, one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, which is the letter A. All right, pause. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, which is a zero. Pause. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, which is another zero. So it's P A no P two A zero zero. So I'm only using this example uh, because this is the code that I had up. Uh, if you guys look, this is the code that came up on my uh, OBD2 reader. So basically, most of the codes are not going to have a letter. Most of the codes are going to have uh, a P and then four numbers. All right, This is one of the rare codes that has an A, which is a letter. So normally, uh, if you have any other codes outside this code, it's going to be P and four numbers. All right. So in this instance, PA200, uh, it is a it, it reads on the OBD2 sensor as a I believe I'm not looking at it right now, but I believe it says um, oxygen sensor error leak or whatever. But if you guys get if you guys are getting this code and this is one of the most common codes that's out there, um, you know. You guys, if you guys want to just go to the gas cap, tighten it up, and then, you know, reset the code. If it comes back, it means that, you know, it's, it is what it, it states on there, but most of the time, it's your gas cap that's not tight enough. That's why that code comes up. But outside of that code, if you guys get any other code, then, you know, you're going to have your car, you know, checked out or do some work on your car, depending on what the codes are. But with this code right here that's coming up, you know, just, uh, you know, your first thing you should, the first thing you should do is to tighten your gas cap, uh, uh, turn off the car, reset, turn off your gas cap, reset the code. Uh, if it doesn't, current, you know, the, the, the uh, service engine light doesn't come back on, uh, that means that, you know, that was the issue that was causing the service engine light to pop up. However, if this is not, you know, if, if your service engine soon light uh, stays on after you tighten it and cleared it, that pretty much means that that's uh, it's it's the issue that's on. You know, that's it's the issue that that's what the code. You know, what's you know what the code is. All right, guys. So, like I said, it's gonna take a little bit of time to fig. You know, to 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 get it to figure out actually you know how to how to read it you know you might have to you know do it a couple of times but if you guys if it doesn't work out for you what you guys could do is you guys could get an obd2 reader it, they sell it for like 19 bucks you know at walmart they sell it for around that price on ebay amazon or if you guys you know you guys can drive to uh, uh, AutoZone. Or advanced auto, any other part stores that does any of these simple um, service engine soon light diagnostics, um, you guys can get them to check it out for free. And then we're gonna put the, you're gonna put your foot on the accelerator again for 10 seconds to clear the code, and from your computer and from the dash. All right. So one one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand, six one thousand, seven one thousand, eight one thousand, nine one thousand, ten one thousand. All right. What you're gonna do afterwards is you're gonna take your foot off the accelerator. All right. You're gonna turn off your car, and then you're gonna turn your car back on. At which point, the service engine soon light should be cleared from your dash. It should also be cleared from your car's internal computer. All right, but but if your issue is still there, uh, the service engine soon light code and the light on your dash will come back on depending on your drive cycle. You're not going to be able to pass inspection uh, in, until you actually fix the issue. The reason being is, all right, your car has a computer uh, that actually checks each and every sensor. There's about seven or eight sensors in your car. Sensors in your car. It's going to check seven. Each of those sensors, um, and when it gets to that sensor that's causing you, 
causing the issue, when it gets to that problem that causes uh, that issue, the service engine soon might will pop back up. And furthermore, if you take your car to get, get it inspected right after you did this method and the issue is still there, you're still gonna fail inspection. Reason being is that when you take it to the, ins the inspection center, uh, what happens is they will make sure that your car uh, goes through that drive cycle. That drive cycle, meaning that the, the computer has has checked off uh, at least you know most of the sensors uh, in your car, so that it reads out you know you know that everything in your car is working right. All right.